today we have a very exciting ride. We're heading up the 3,000 meter road to the top of the volcano. Up there. I was just staying on the left there, but I, I rode down to the sea um, so that I'd get like the maximum elevation because this will be the biggest climb I've done. 55 kilometers from here to the top. Um, the average gradient is about 5%, but I don't really know how that's spread out, whether it gets steep at the top or not. All I know is there is a shitload of switchbacks. The map is just like boop, 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 all the way up. But yeah, should be good. It was like a bit of a stormy morning. Um, a pretty brutal headwind at the moment, but we're going through some trees, so I've got a little bit of shelter. It's actually getting like darker and darker ahead of me, which I don't like the look of. Feels like it's going to dump some rain on us anytime soon. This part of the climb is lovely. It's quite an easy gradient, nice immersive feel with all the trees around. It's beautiful. That's the shower coming in. <laughs> Straight for us. It's covering half of the volcano. That's the other one. Uh-oh. So the sun's out. We cleared through that storm. Got a little wet. But not too bad. Um, hopefully the wind will dry me off fast. And yeah, the road's starting to kick up a little more now. Yeah, we've done five 30 meters ascent so far. Um, and it like we doesn't even feel like we're nearing the volcano. <laughs> we're still like way, way, way down it. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's nice just sitting at like two. 20-ish watts. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be the sweet spot for the day. And near the top, it'll be whatever, um, whatever we can do. Hopefully, I'll be able to push a bit harder than that, though. Um, so I don't know how cold it will be. That's what I'm worried about. Okay, so we're making good progress now. It's done about 760 meters ascent, uh, just past the 2,500 feet sign. Yeah, feeling okay. It smells like so much like when I was in Gold Coast here. It's weird. Um, scenery is sort of similar as well in the woods now. Um, it's definitely getting cooler though. Under cloud cover at the moment. It still feels so far away. I mean, it is probably about 38k away, so got a way to go yet. Look at that fat rainbow. Realize now how far you come up. I just had this truck pull alongside me. Um, I thought he was going to shout some like words of encouragement or something, but he just shouted, oh, stay in that white line. Pointed for me to stay to the right of this. On it. There are seriously loads of cyclists on those like weird city bikes. They're with a tour company. It says like ride down the volcano. Um, but they're all just sort of freewheeling down. A bit nervous from how they're all dressed so warm. And I'm here in like a shirt. I've got arm warmers and a face mask in my back pocket but might be getting cold up the top. Now I've just turned on to highway 378 which is the highway that goes all the way to the summit. It's about 20 miles to the top according to the sign so that's 
32 k's of uphill. Another group of cyclists just passed and I don't think I've been rejected for a wave by so many people in a row. There's about 40 of them. And I was enthusiastically waving them all and nothing back. And that's the one rule in cycling, you always wave back. What is the purpose for dreaming at night? Can someone please tell me I'm wondering why? See a measure in the hills with the perfect woman I know it's real. up to 1500 meters now. Found some yeah. friends on the road. Hey, Steve from Utah. Steve from Utah. Making the journey up the hill. Yeah, and there's a group back there. It's nice to see some fellow road cyclists on the road. I was getting a bit lonely, apart from the tourists coming down on their city bikes. But yeah, it's beautiful here. We've got some storminess behind us. Um, the other volcano, the other side of the island, and the summit up there. I don't know how many switchbacks we've been up so far, but I think there's a few more to go. Oh no. Misty rain. So I just made it up to 1850 meters ascent now, and the weather's changed a lot. Um, I'm just sort of sheltered a bit from this this shower that's come through, um, but the wind is just crazy. And yeah, it's got a lot, lot colder. Um, the the other cyclists I was with have just turned back, so I don't know. One of them said he went up on Monday and it was calm at this point in the climb, and he still had to get rescued from the top because it was so cold. So. Yeah, it's not looking great. The car's just come down and that car is soaking. Um, and you can sort of see the, the rain getting brushed across this mountain now. It's, it's pretty crazy conditions. Um, I might wait it out for five minutes to see if this blows over. And um, I'm in this little like, cover here. And if this blows over, I might try and go, go up a bit more, but the, the winds are only increasing as the day goes on. I think they're getting to 100 kilometer an hour winds today. Um, yeah, it's a bit frustrating because if I don't get up today, tomorrow the weather's looking worse and it doesn't really get better until Monday and I was planning to leave tomorrow. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, <laughs> a bit annoying. grid like so close um, yeah I think it's it's gonna be call it a daytime the range just getting stronger and stronger and it's just blowing across the road uh, it's hard to stay on the bike even and yeah looks like it's goodbye time I'm already pretty cold and with another thousand meters to climb probably not the best idea um, especially without like a big rain jacket
Made it back down to the hostel. Um, still pretty windy down here. We had a bit of a shower on the way down as well. Um, yeah, it's a bit, a bit sad that we didn't get to make it up to the top, but there's no way I was getting there today um, with those wind conditions. Um, yeah, it just would not have been, would not have been wise. I don't think I'd have made it anyway. I was, I'd have been far too cold. So yeah, yeah, it's a good ride though. We've done. 73k's with um, 1850 meters ascent in about four hours so still still a decent amount it's a bit weird though because i feel like i have so much left in the tank and um we already climbed 2000 meters it's crazy it's it's an awesome hill though like those switchbacks just stunning and the road is perfect so now i'm just gonna um don't know grab a quick bite to eat and yeah maybe plan out what I'm going to do with the rest of the day.